Ease off on the throttle, Sergeant. The drone may be powerful, but it'll take a lot of deceleration to counteract the inertia of the asteroid. You don't want to go too fast. Sorry, Professor. I've never flown an asteroid before. Excellent. This is a perfect proof of concept. With drones like these aboard every Space Guard colonization ship, convoys colonizing new worlds will be able to traverse even the densest asteroid fields, cutting weeks or even years off travel times and potentially saving countless lives. Could be a Nobel Prize in it for you, Professor. Oh, I doubt that, Commander. Not that it wouldn't be well deserved, of course. Or overdue. Um, sir, I'm detecting a ship closing in on our position. It's dropping out of light speed now. Does anybody recognize the configuration? It looks like an Elronian garbage scow, but what would they be doing this far from the Elronian system? Is it registered with a space traffic charter, Lieutenant? I don't know, sir. It's not transmitting a UID. I can't get any info on it. Establish a comlink. Comlink open. Elronian vessel, this is the Galactic Space Guard ship Falcon 1. You are not transmitting a UID in Space Guard monitored territory. This is in direct violation of the Omicron 12 treaty. Please respond. Perhaps they've taken damage. If their radio transmitter is offline, they wouldn't be able to respond or transmit a UID. Aronian Vessel, do you require assistance? Signal if you do. This is starting to get a little creepy. Sir, I'm detecting some sort of energy buildup from the other ships. <laughs> What's going on, Professor? It doesn't appear to be a weapon. It's transmitting some sort of data stream. It's accessing the ship's computers. Can you stop it? No, it's too late. It's locking me out of the computer systems. The control room door is sealing itself. Warning, oxygen levels back. The control room's venting oxygen. Get that door open, Lieutenant. I can't, sir. None of my command overrides are working. Sir, the manual release. Warning. Oxygen levels at 50%. Warning. Oxygen levels at 40%. It won't budge. Lieutenant! <coughs> Escape pods!
Is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Fine, sir. Um, I should probably point out that I was never very good at flying these things. Here we go. Oh, nearly... No, hang on. Sir, look! They're hijacking the ship! Oxygen levels, normal. Haha, <laughs> we did it, lads. The rats have deserted the sinking ship. Pars, take the controls. Program in the coordinates our informant gave us. Let's see how good his information was. Uh, 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 that region of space does seem to be restricted to authorized space guard vessels only, uh, c c Captain. Ha <laughs> that's the place, lads. Looks like our informant's information was good. Well worth the four crates of trigasine ore we gave him. It's almost a shame we forgot to put the trigasine in the crates. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Grelick, use the security console to find the access codes. Yes, Captain. Pars, set a course and take us to light speed. Quick, everybody, grappling lines. They are designed to withstand short periods of light speed travel. As long as the electro suction cups have formed a perfect seal on the hull, we should be able to stay attached for 20 to 30 minutes. Right, Sergeant. I think so. But what are we going to do? The oxygen recycling units in the pods can sustain us for several days. We just have to transmit a distress beacon and wait for the nearest space guard patrol ship to pick us up. I don't think I can wait that long, Professor. I think I took damage when we collided. I'm venting oxygen. How fast? At this rate, I doubt I've got more than five minutes of air left. There's no way there'll be another space guard ship in range. We have to think of something. Professor, look over there. It looks like it's adrift. I don't think there's anyone left aboard. If we can make it over there, it should be a simple enough job to open the docking hatch and get on board. The pod's thrusters were only designed for short-range navigation. We won't be able to make it that far. Professor, what's the radio frequency of your drone's navigation controls? 46 gigahertz. Why? I've got an idea. I just hope it works. Working, Sergeant. Yes, but it's still a long way off, and I'm losing air pretty quickly. It's already getting hard to breathe. I just hope it'll get here in time. Do you think the Professor and the Sergeant will be okay? I hope so, but we can't worry about them right now. We have to focus on regaining control of Falcon 1. 
Establish a one-way comm link with the control room. I want to hear what's going on in there. Right. Just think of it, Harris. Once we destroy Station L-227, the space guard will be completely helpless. And with the money I make, I'll become a very rich man. The, the, the money we make, Captain? Yes, that's what I said. With the money we make, I'll become a very rich man. I know those voices. Yes, they're the pirates who hijacked that galactic shipment vessel carrying the shipment of Silithium. That captain's a slippery one. This is gonna be tricky. Station L-227? That's the Space Guard's Bordorium refining facility. Its location is top secret. All Space Guard lightspeed engines run on Bordorium. If it was destroyed... The Space Guard would be completely paralyzed. We have to get back on board. I think I have an idea. Lieutenant, patch me through the bob. Bob, this is Commander Ryder. I need to talk to you, but whatever you do, don't open the door of your recharge chamber. Uh, I don't particularly want to look at your face either. Bob, this is serious. Falcon 1 has been hijacked by pirates. The Lieutenant and I are in escape pods attached to the ship's hull. We need you to let us back in. We've met these pirates before. The Captain has a device that can render both humans and robots unconscious, so you need to avoid the control room. I want you to use the escape hatch in the ceiling of your chamber, and use the access tunnels to get to the cargo bay. I'll explain more when you get there. Ryder, out. Uh, a robot's work is never done. It's very dusty up here. Not long now, Sergeant. You better start decelerating. It's almost on top of us. Sergeant, you have to decelerate the ship. Sergeant! Oh, no. I'm gonna have to do this myself. Okay, um... 46 gigahertz. Oh, I never was very good at flying things like this. Here goes nothing. Okay, Sergeant, the ship's here now, but you have to open the hatch. Sergeant! I'm sorry, Sergeant, but I have to get your attention somehow. <gasps> what? What's going on? Sergeant, the hatch. How do you open the hatch? The... the hatch? Tuned to... 128... Megahertz and send a command override signal. I'm sure there has to be some sort of OHS rule about this. Okay, Lieutenant, you'll have to go first. Extend your grappling line until you can reach the back of the ship. Bob, as soon as you can see the Lieutenant's pod, use your rope to haul her in. Okay, here I go.
There it is, lads. The lifeblood of the Space Guard. And we're going to sever the artery. Grelick, do you have the access codes? Access codes ready, Captain. Alright, transmit them. Let's see how gullible they'll be. We've been given clearance to approach, Captain. Ha <laughs> this is going to be too easy. Uh, um, uh, 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 Captain, the, the ship's uh, outer hatch appears to have been uh, uh, opened. What? There must be somebody aboard. Gralic, go and investigate. Yes, Captain. Take us in, Harz, and ready weapons. Nobody's going to stop us now. Oxygen levels, normal. I'm trying to send a message to station L227 to warn them, but the signal's too weak. There's nothing we can do. Wait. I'm detecting a ship closing in on our position. Sergeant Hawk here, Commander. It looks like you could use a lift. We're within weapons range, Captain. Fire. Not so fast. Step away from the controls and throw your guns and that device of yours over here. You're too late to stop me. Soon the Space Guard's entire supply of Bordurium will be obliterated and they'll be forced to turn to Quadracene to power their light speed engines instead. And it just so happens that the largest stockpile of Quadracene in the galaxy belongs to a very good friend of mine in the Elronian Mining Syndicate, who will be very grateful for the work I'm about to do. And his expressions of gratitude tend to be very lucrative. I won't let you or anybody stand in the way of the money I'm about to make. No more delays. Pars, destroy that station. This is Commander Ryder to Falcon 1. Come in, Falcon 1. Now what? This is your only warning. Surrender my ship or we will be forced to take action. Haha, <laughs> empty threat. You wouldn't fire on your own ship with a member of your crew aboard. Oh, I don't need to fire on my ship. You see, I'm on your ship. <laughs> Abandon ship, lads! How do you fly this thing? Uh, I, I think it's this button. It's not that button, Captain. I can see that, you idiot. Maybe this button. Ah! Ah! It's good to have you all back. Yes, I'm certainly glad to have two feet firmly on the ground again. Speak for yourself. I quite liked floating about in space. This gravity is making all of my joint pain come back. Should we pick them up, sir? 
We might as well get our escape pod back. Hmm. Sergeant, how long did you say that Space Guard prison ship would take to arrive? At their current speed, approximately 32 hours, sir. 32 hours? I don't think we need to worry too much about that escape pod. We're due to start our next patrol route soon, and we wouldn't want to be late. Set the course for the Psi system, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Harsh, get off my foot! <laughs>